everyone. My name is Jamelia Shekudinova. I'm a marketing lead Europe region Rakuten and Viber. Together with me today, Sasun Kachatran, the editor of the biggest media in Armenia, News I Am, and we will shortly discuss the new update that has been presented by Viber, Viber channels, and how News I Am has implemented this channel in the social media communication mix. So let's begin. Sasun, uh, hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, so you've created your News AM channel in Viber not so long ago, but it's developing very successfully. You already have more than 35 subscribers in your channel and the number is constantly growing. Uh, please let me know, what were the main reasons for you to start your activities in Viber? Also, could you tell what were your aims to create a Viber channel? working with existing and new audiences or probably increasing traffic to the website? Well, there are in fact a couple of reasons that we decided to launch a channel in Viber. Um, and the uh, number one reason is its popularity. I'm not sure that Viber is the most used messenger here in Armenia, but I'm definitely sure that it is uh, one of the most uh, downloaded uh, messenger here in Armenia. So it's a very popular messenger uh, without a specific demographic uh, target group. Number two uh, is uh, Viber is an additional source of traffic. So this is something that any media would uh, would like to use. The reason uh, number three would be uh, the fact that uh, we, we are in direct uh, communication uh, with Viber. Uh, this is uh, something uh, special. This human to human uh, communication is something that you will hardly find with any other social media platforms. Uh, usually when you try to contact these kind of companies, so you contact their support center and most probably you get some automated answers uh, without even knowing whether it was a human being who responded to you or a person. So uh, this is very important to us to have this uh, direct uh, contact with the Viber team. Because we were in direct contact with the Viber team, we were sure that this uh, communication, this direct communication will be continuous and will help us uh, manage our channel much more efficiently in our attempts to get more audiences. And there's also one more thing, maybe the last reason, uh, is the fact that Viber is one of the most user-friendly uh, messengers, um, ready to take into account any kind of suggestions that we as publishers might come up with. So these would be the, the reasons that we decided to launch this channel. Well, thank you very much for such a warm and positive feedback. Sporting Partners is actually one of the important directions of our work, and we are always glad to hear your feedback and develop the platform so that's more useful. Well, let's uh, get further. Messengers and social networks and platforms now more and more often called new media because many people prefer to get information and other content from these sources. Do you agree with this? What place do messengers have in News AM communication ecosystem? Well, I think the answer to your question would be yes. Uh, they are the new media because most of the people are nowadays are using uh, social media platforms and messengers to get um, information, to get news. So it's kind of preferred way for people to, to consume news and also to get uh, information in general. So people are kind of loyal to these kind of uh, sources when it comes to getting news. So that would be unwise not to use them. Anyone with a smartphone or a computer with access to the internet can, can launch a, a channel or a platform in various social media platforms and they can use the name of your company and the logo of your company so and the next day you may see that they are spreading various news under your brand's name and some of that news may be accurate some of them may not be and even worse some of them could be fake so you may find yourself in a situation where someone else is producing or disseminating news under your company's name so in order to avoid this, uh, this kind of awkward situation, it's better that you do it first before someone else is doing under your name. 
Yeah, indeed. That's a very important comment regarding being present on a platform to fight fake news. Now, when the amount of information we receive is so huge and an ordinary person just doesn't have time for checking all the sources, it's good to have media that announces themselves and speak loudly with a wide audience. I do totally agree with you. Now, a few words about your audience in the channel. Since the appearance of your channel, have you got some new interesting insights about your audience? What type of content it mostly likes? What kind of interaction, polls, quizzes, brings more reactions, etc.? Did this help to better understand the tastes and preferences of the audience? This channel is, um, is a new tool for us. We're kind of experimenting in an attempt to make a new strategy to try to understand what is the best format to provide the users with, with the content that we produce. So, so that's why we're not um, putting there anything that we have. So what we mainly publish on the Viber channel is news about entertainment, technologies, education, tourism. And, you know, we, we came to realize that um, the new generation has a unique approach when it comes to consuming news. Uh, they usually expect you to provide them with something additional other than the news itself, something that is useful and that can be used. I'll bring you an example. Uh, we, we had a post on, on, on our Viber channel. Uh, it was a descriptive text about an online platform that is using artificial intelligence to make images based on the text that the users provide. So we put the text there and we included also a link uh, that would lead the users to a source where they could find some additional information. And the interactions that we had with this post on our Viber channel, I mean the likes and shares, so came to prove that we're on the right track by thinking that people usually expect you to provide something additional, something useful. So this is something that we found out. Great. This is a very popular topic indeed, but it's always the right thing to test how your audience engages with it. So I'm glad to hear that Viber Channel's insights were useful in that case. Uh, we cannot but ask about some numbers and results, of course. If possible, could you please share some? For example, if the traffic to your website increased or something else. We've had significant uh, increase in, in the traffic uh, from the social media segment. But frankly, this uh, traffic is not the most important thing that we are concerned about. Of course, it's good to have more traffic, but what we are most interested in is the format, uh, the strategy that we have and the, the format in which we provide the content to our users. Great, thanks. What are your plans for developing your channel in Viber? Maybe some sticker packs, any new activities with the audience? Did you think about some kind of monetization for your channel in future? I'm sure we will continue to develop our channel and provide uh, various uh, kind of new things to our users. Newsem is going to launch the, the, the stickers uh, pack uh, in the near future. So that will be one of the new things that we will provide our users with. So what concerns the monetization, um, I would say that unfortunately uh, Viber is not uh, offering many tools now to produce to, to publishers to monetize their uh, the content. So the only way we can do it is asking an advertiser to make a post on our Viber channel about their business. So therefore we would very much like to see Viber creating some new tools and uh, creating new opportunities for publishers to be able to monetize their content. Um, also, uh, at the same time, I would say we are currently okay with the, with the tools that Viber is providing, but we would very much like to, to see some, some new tools. Well, thanks for the feedback. We are actually working on the more monetization options. So stay updated. We'll for sure let you know when there are more things uh, to monetize the channel. And I think that's it for now. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure talking to you. And for all who is watching, if you want to learn more about Viber channels and its opportunities, the link to the website with details and link to try and create your own channel will be in the video description. Thank you very much for watching.